All right, all right. Good, well, not good morning, because I know it might not be morning for you, but nice to see you here, guys. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys, let's get to it. Let's get to play some games. Let's try to keep it. 10 minutes is great. Let me actually make this full screen. Um, I have some 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 5-5. Five, five. Um, I think it's a little bit better because we get the increment. But uh, let's do it. Black pieces, we're playing a 1766. We have to be very careful. And uh, let's try to get some games. Hello, hello. Hey, I'm doing great. How are you? All right, we got e4, of course, first game we have to play d6. And uh, let's see how the Pierce defense behaves. Luke, in the house, what's going on? All right, we gotta do it, we gotta do it, we gotta do it. I should what? Hello, hello. All right, pretty aggressive setup already. Let me go, yeah, let me go c6, why not? Pirk. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on, what's going on? All right, so we got something that we have seen too many times already. Uh, we stop everything on the king's side. They're going to try to do this very easy and dangerous plan. Hey, hey. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, people are not used to playing against it. If you understand the plans, that's it. By the way, guys, um, chessable course coming out on Monday. And it's going to be everything we need. Uh, finally, it's going to be organized. It's going to be... Uh, curated by, by the engine as well and um, and that's it it's everything you need all of the plans well explained it's just getting the setup done and then picking the right plan and you're good to go oh yeah no you know it's gonna be actually it's gonna be only 64 trainable trainable lines and it's a system that you could play against anything because I put together the Pierce defense and the King's Indian defense in a way that is easy to remember and that's it once you get the setup done you know four or five plans and how to execute them and that's it the trick part is for you to get the hang of what plan to use when and that's more than i ever knew making it to national master no one ever told me um you know you have to play like this or you have to play this plan against the fianchetto variation or against the sandwich i was only told look this is how it's done play it and I used to play the same thing against anything like this setup almost made me quit this defense because I would play the same standard instead of you know delaying castling and attacking here and uh, well hopefully you guys enjoyed that just of course let's see all right knight b6 makes sense queen a5 now I like it let me go knight b6 No, 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 it's here, it's here. Ah, nice, true, you told me that. You told me that, man, that's nice, that's nice. Doing great, doing great. Look, what can I tell you, man? I'm playing, I just played the turkey ball, um... And I did four points out of five. The last two tournaments I've played, I did the same thing after a year, almost two, just getting destroyed every tournament. Just my rating going down. I started to train a little bit. But to answer your question, openings, I'm playing the same thing you see me play all the time. And as white, I'm throwing in F4 first move. And with that, I'm doing great. So definitely it's not the opening. Whatever you have, if you like it, just perfect it and just train your tactics, your middle game, your end game. And of course, play more, play more, play more. All right, D5, we're gonna play B4. 
and let's see if we can expand towards that king i'm not so afraid of you know castling now because i already have a good head start towards this king bring it on bring it on dímelo dímelo hola hola Yeah, no, chessable courses, well, I don't think all of them, but this one I don't, is not for free, <laughs> not for free. Guys, I already did my fair share of free lessons. You have like almost 300 there. So enjoy that. Mm -hmm. Oof, we have a whole playlist on it. Don't be lazy, guys. Go to the YouTube channel, go to playlists. There's one on middle game, positional play, middle game, middle game and positional play or something like that. No, already did. Already did, guys. Go to lesson 90. I don't remember if it's 96 or 98. I want to say 96. It's Pierce Defense versus the Burn Variation. I got you covered. I got you covered. All right, C5. When this bishop gets on G7, it is going to be a monster. Yeah, th this guy is, this guy is just too lazy. <laughs> mm. Look, that's a good question. Um, when I was asked, when I was contacted to do the chessable course, I was like, look, if I'm going to be recommending this to people, I got to see if it really works. So I went on. They actually added some courses on my account for me to check them out and so on. And I also bought a few more. And the only thing I can tell you is I was thinking, why haven't I used this before? And look, it's not me. Everyone, every time I go to a tournament, one of the main things I do is talk to people, talk to other coaches, to, to talk to other players, and everyone is using Chessable with great success, and I can see why. Um, I used to be, you know, old school with the book. Then I moved on to Chess.com and Chessable for my openings and have them there and then review. With Chessable, books, openings, it's there. You get to make the move. If it's wrong, they put it back, and then they repeat it to you, and you have this move trainer, all of this repetition that... It's helped me a lot. So what I did is I bought a book. Actually, no, for strategy, I, I got a free, there's a free course by Magnus Carlsen. It says strategy or something like that. So I got that one there. I had one for tactics and I have my openings loaded there. So I just have one day. Oh, I have, I have one for end games. So I'm just, instead of opening the book, I just get in there, do my training. And the thing is, once you go over it, let's say it's a book on Endgame, you go over it, you got it, you're reading it like a book, but then next time you go in there, they say you have learn to learn more or review. So you could click on review and they're going to ask you the same ones that you already learned. And if you get it wrong, they're going to say, fine, keep going. But then in two days, I'm going to ask you the same one. And you have that space repetition, how they call it, that honestly... I don't know. I don't know why I didn't do it before. People, my students would say, oh, I'm using Chessable. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm old school. We don't need Chessable. But it's good, guys. It's good. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? All right. Let me stop talking because I feel like <laughs> things are getting out of control. And I might not be able to castle. I just might not be able to castle. So probably F6, King F7. Bishop g7 castle would be great, but I just don't have the time. Eh, I could just play queen f8. All right, what to do? f6, king f7, or bishop g7. I'm going to go with bishop g7. And if we die, we die. I like it. I like it a lot. I have students who play it successfully. Either the Vienna Gambit when they play knight f6 or the one with g3. Yeah, you know, that's the one I have for endgames. I already read that book, 100 endgames, well, most of it. 100 endgames, you must know. And now I got it again just to go over it with a chessable um, technology and just make sure that I really learn it. So, absolutely. Absolutely. 
<laughs> thank you, thank you. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I'm happy to take your rating points. Nah, nah, nah. It's up to you guys. I don't really care. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. I'm just like always talking a lot <laughs> and trying to not lose. Thank you. You can have it if you if you like. Oof, it depends. It depends on so many things. It depends on your what kind of person you are. Guys, openings, I think you gotta pick openings that go with your personality. But also at what point are you? How much time do you have to train? Like for example, Nidorf, definitely uh, stronger, sharper, but it also requires more memorization. Karo can legendary opening as well. It's uh, very solid, doesn't require as much memorization. So it depends where you stand. All right, I think it's time for some counter. How should we do it, huh? Should I go bishop b2 first? Or should I go knight c4? I'm sorry, knight c4 first. Cha 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 cha. It has to be like this. Well, just send me a challenge. You can see my username here, guys. Um, Rob Ran. I'm on chess.com. Send me a challenge. Hey, hey, nice to see you. You're one of the of the great friends of the channel, 100%. Uh, 1,400. Oof, look. Um, oh, am I missing anything? I don't think so. Look, 1,400, the easiest way to improve for my four, uh, 1,400 is getting consistent with your tactics, with playing the games and reviewing them um, every single time. Just getting disciplined already makes a huge difference for my anyone below 1500. The tough part is once you get past 1500 to get to 1800. And in my experience, what we focus the most on with most people is end games. End games. End games is gonna get you there. All right, all right. Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm doing great, how are you? How is school going? Hello, hello. All right, Momo in the house. Let's do this. Let me play Knight F3. Momo is a special, he's a special player. We have to be careful with him. Let's do it. That's fine. Then you gotta keep going. The best advice I can give you is review master games with different openings and see if this one they really like the positions that you get and just go from there. All right, so look, tough decision. I gave up the prior bishops already, but my opponent already has double pawns, worst pawn structure. Let's see if we can capitalize on that. Let's see. What? Man. Yeah, tough week, tough week. Man. No, that said, I see it all the time with my students. I see it all the time. Those who um, those who are disciplined and are really doing this to improve, that's it. That's it. It's just the it's just the being able to do it consistently to 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 actually put in the time. All right. Now here I had a very quick opportunity to just leave this pawn isolated so double pawns isolated let's see if we can 
I'll play um, Momo playing like that. He's very aggressive. So and that's another thing. If you play someone that you know is aggressive, it's a good idea to play quiet, boring positions. If it's the opposite, if they enjoy quiet positions, try to complicate it. Hello, hello. Good luck, good luck. I just had one over the weekend, long one. All right, there you go. That's the Momo I know. That's the Momo I know. Cha, cha, cha. Now, he's being aggressive, so I need to strike the center. If you're being attacked on the flank, you have to strike the center. That's the, the principle that we need to follow. Well, you gotta try, try if you like aggressive, you gotta try either e4, e5, double king's pawn openings, or just go with the Sicilian, see if you like the Sicilian. Now, I have a lot of aggressive students who don't wanna get into the Sicilian and all the craziness, so they play a, I don't know if it's popular or unpopular, but I know a lot of, pe a lot of people don't like it, but they played the Scandinavian, and it could get really tricky, especially, e4 d5 pawn takes pawn knight f6 it gets tricky good morning good morning <laughs> there you go what happened to your other openings to your own other repertoire look the answer to that is like anything in life you gotta have a balance Whatever you like to place the le whatever you whatever you like the least, make sure that at least once or twice a week you do that. Like I have students, most of my students like blitz, but they don't like um, rapid games. So I tell them, look, at least one day a week, give me uh, rapid games. Some people, especially if they're older and newer to the game, they prefer rapid games. They hate blitz. So I tell them, look, at least one day a week, maybe Friday having a good week <laughs> give me some blitz because you got to keep that balance that's the way to do it uh, all right i think the center is pretty open so this already lost its effects there's no discovery right <laughs> mm. hmm Your Scandinavian, e4, you play d5. That's the Scandinavian. Now, within the Scandinavian, after e takes d5, I've seen knight f6, which I think is very, very interesting. All right. Now, with pieces of the board, I feel very comfortable with this because of the doubled pawns over here. Basically, I got three versus two pawn majority on the queen side. My opponent got no majority on the other side because these pawns are like one pawn, they're doubled. Not to mention that we got pretty active pieces. It should be an easy end game to win unless I mess it up. And believe me, I can mess it up very, very easily. Um, cha, 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 cha. Hmm. Do I need to? Nah. Let him get the pawn. Let him get the pawn. Send it. Send me. Send me this challenge. I'm just going. Once I finish the game, I go to the next challenge and so on. Do you know? I haven't seen many. I do you know. I saw the one. I think it's Queen of Kangui or something like that. It's uh, like about this African girl who's very talented and so on. Just put Queen Queen of Kangui. Kangui. <laughs> No, no, no. Hey, you're going to see me. If you stay long enough, you're going to see me play horrible. But um, no, good game. Good game. Good game. You know, I don't know the elephant. I know the Latvian, and it could be tricky if your opponent is not prepared. Okay, so... Hmm... Um, 
Um, Let me go with this. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not out yet. Once they give it to me, I'm gonna be. I'm going to be announcing it a lot soon. So don't worry about it, my friend. All right. Ah, uh, there you go. There you go. I like it. I like it. I like it. You know, any of those systems that they don't require a lot of memorization, it's just about knowing where the pieces go and so on. I'm okay with that. No, you know what I do, and you're gonna see that in the in the chessable course too, but we've talked about it here in the on the channel. Um, if they do that, if they do that, If they do that, I just get into the peers' defense ideas. Just go play c6. That's it. Just c6 and uh, be ready to play b5 and so on. It's the same thing that we do against the, um, against the 150 attack. Just c6. Any intention of them developing the queen side soon to attack you, you just go um, at c6 and the same ideas. All right. <laughs> I mean, this is just getting the pawn back, but what if I go f3? Cha cha cha. Let's do it. Cha 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 cha. I'm on many other things. My king is ready to get out and get activated. Oof! Como estamos? Como estamos? De lo más bien todo. No, never cared that much, guys. Um, those of you who have been here long enough, you know, I've never been like, you know, chess is the most important thing. It's, I'm not like those who started as a kid. And like, I know a friend of mine was telling me the other day that he was playing a game. Interesting. He was playing a game. His opponent offered him a draw. He says no. And two moves later, he blundered a piece and he lost. And he went crying all the way to his house. I've never been there. I've lost miserably, but you know, it doesn't hit. It hasn't happened. It might happen at some point, but it hasn't happened. All right. That's it. That's it. Hey, I'm just going in order. I'm going in order, 100%. Well, that's a good point. Look, um, I used to not study that much. And, you know, but then that's what I was saying at the beginning. Like a year or two ago, I went from playing a tournament a year because I just felt like it when I feel when I felt like I wanted to play, I would do it. I went to playing more often, like two or three times a year and so on, right? And I, I was losing every time, just my rating going down. And finally, I'm getting back up. Like, I've, my last three, four tournaments have done great. But it was only because I started to train almost every, at least Monday to Thursday. And then during the weekend, at least I played some games and things like that. But I needed to do that because I was, I was out of shape, getting tired, missing things, always long time. All right, Mama, what do you want? Cha-cha. Gotta do it. Hmm. I probably have to. I probably have to. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know everyone is against me. Okay, you got it, Mateo. You got it. Gonna be interesting. 
Right, Rook on the seventh rank. I like it. And then we'll see what happens. Um, moving out the bishop and queen aggressively. I'm pretty sure if you win, guys, over lesson 51, we covered it. Lesson 53 or 54, 53, I just played games with it. You've seen me do that. You've seen me do that. But tell me more, like, what do they put the pieces? When you say aggressively, where, where exactly? Cha, cha. Cha. There's no rush to get, to grab pawns. I just want to keep the active, I want to be the one with the active pieces. Yeah, that's easy. If it's that, that's easy to punish. Yeah. <laughs> Tony, Tony, I'm here trying not to get destroyed. And then I look over and I respond when I what I see. Rook C2? What do you mean Rook C2? All right, here we go. Cha, 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 cha. About bishop d5. Let's keep those pieces active. Oh, you mean rook d2 and rook b2. I'm not gonna do it because I hadn't seen it. I'm not gonna do it, I didn't see it. That's it, give me the bishop. Man. I'm not gonna do it because I didn't see it, but we must appreciate. Who said that? That's a great move. I mean, I know active pieces lead to tactics, but I didn't see that. It looks so counterintuitive. All right, I'm gonna go with bishop d5. That's what I was gonna play anyways. Rook d2, man, what a nice resource with the king on b6. You guys are geniuses. Yeah, guys, I'm just accepting challenges. That's what I'm doing. Bring it on. Just don't cry when you get destroyed. If bishop b3, rook b2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. I just didn't see it. I just didn't see it. I just did not see it. All right. Material is even. Isolated, isolated. Active pieces. Coordinated pieces. I only need... Ideally, my king would be more involved. But, you know, little by little. <laughs> I hope you guys are not messing with me, okay? But <laughs> it works, guys. Ideally, you'd move from that opening to the regular Pierce defense. It's more dynamic, it offers more, but you'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right. Um, a4 is coming. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows. Chun, chun, chun. I don't want to give you that. But at the same time. Let's do it. Yeah, I have to play. Like, I have the option to just try to protect the, the bishop and so on, but let, let him play a4. Okay. 
Yeah, that's coming. That one is coming. Yep. Now we take. Maybe I'm getting, I'm grabbing too many pawns, but what more can I do? Cha cha cha. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, there's no increment. Go, 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 go. in trouble. Uh oh, go, go, go. Ah, that was a nice one. That was a nice one. played well played now this one we gotta review it because i want to see what we messed up and we messed up badly well done okay so it was a daman 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 shout out to daman i hope it's a real place <laughs> that was a good one that was a very good one all right horrible horribly played let me accept that was a really and i was bragging so much about my pawn structure and we actually lost in the end game now let me see where we messed up good job momo like always very nice game yeah this i knew it was inaccurate we're giving up the, pro the pro bishops but i thought i had gotten a nice position right after nice e3 e4 so this is consistent and up to this point Great game, like always, great game. <laughs> now, let me see, when did it go away? I guess I underestimated the B pawn, but I think I was lost from before. Okay, so far I'm, I'm okay. Equal position, take, take, rook d1, castle, knight d6. I considered knight c5, bishop f5, so far, so good. Check. Rook d5. We're playing decent chess so far. Decent chess. Of course, this is just a cheap trick to collect on e4. f3. Yeah, I should have taken right away, right? <laughs> I was trying to get fancy. Give me that. Check. 
Look, look at this. Rook D2 is not even winning. Like, it's true. If they do this, they're done. But apparently they have G6. What am I missing? Hmm. I guess they have F5 after. Yeah, if I leave, they get out through here. If I do something like here, we have F5. And then the thing is that if I go bishop d3, yeah, it, it's not as powerful as it seemed. So bishop e4, Bronder. Oh, wait, wait. Now is when we have rook d2. Yeah. And still it's not that bad, I guess. Rook b2. Yeah, no, but I would rather play this. But it's true they keep two protected, two connected pass pawns. But still, I think it would be better for, for white. Definitely. Easier to play. Yeah, yeah. So this is when you set it. Rook d2. I play bishop d5 because I didn't see that, honestly. Now, still, this is not losing. Yeah, I had to defend the bishop. That was my first instant. That's it. That's it. A4. Even though I lost, I'm happy with me pulling these moves. It seems like we're playing well, but... Oof, get the pawn. Get the silly pawn. And then very nice plan with b5 and bishop a4. I was looking for it, and I didn't see it this way. Yeah, this is already losing. Well played, very well played. Very well played. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, I got destroyed, not distracted. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go to the next one. Let me go to the next one. And let me take it out of my next opponent. All right, guys, so look, I'm just going like this. All right, and I got my 10 minutes. Let's do it. Let me play four. That night of three v three. <laughs> All right, c six. Um, should I play c four? Should I play knight c three? Let me go knight c three. And I'm gonna try to keep it in Vienna style. Pieces glow. Oh, I think uh, if you go to settings, you have here like you put an like, arcade and they do that. Yeah, anyone can play. I'm just going in order, guys. Sorry if I don't get to you. I wish I could play you all, um, but I'm just I'm just going in order. I wonder if yeah. Spanish. All right, for all we know, we are castled. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I have to look in. I don't know if this is setting for that. Time to play d4. Same thing, king in the center, a few moves away from castling. Let's see if we can create something. Gotta open the center. I have to go towards that king. <laughs> good luck. Just have fun. Take good notation. That way you can analyze the games. That's the main takeaway from your tournaments. Review the games after.
<laughs> Only one way, my friend, study end games. You have to. And you don't have to know a lot. Like it's not like get an end games book and memorize it entirely. Just get a good understanding of basic and pawn end games, rook end games. Those are the most common ones. And that along with your ability to calculate and that should be enough. I have never known <laughs> way more than that. Um, you're going to see my username right here, Rob Ram. Just uh, send me the challenge. Yeah, then you're going to need good luck. <laughs> now, what's my opponent going to do? No, there's no way in this world. There's just no way. <laughs> Now, if I play like it, no, no. <laughs> well, you should be able to see it. Look, look at the players next to the board. It's Rob Ram, so that's the username. Well, I think I mentioned it once as the fort, because that's what I used to tell uh, some of my students before I even knew it was a thing. But yeah, it's the hippo. It, they're talking about the hippo. All right, now they want to castle. And I wonder, I wonder why. <laughs> this movement, is it good? Cha, 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 cha. If I take, 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 take. I mean, we have to consider it I don't think it leads to anything. So let's try to open up the center. Uh oh, there has to be something. No. I just want to be energetic and create something before they get to castle. There has to be something. I don't know what it is, but there has to be something. Okay, fine. Hanging, hanging. How come I don't have anything? Queen d4. 96 makes no sense. Cha, cha, cha. This might be it. Okay, I think I got it. Yes, it's confirmed on Monday, November 20th. Anyways, you're going to hear me. You're going to see if you're subscribed to the channel, I'm going to be announcing it there. So don't worry. Don't worry. Yep, we're, in this, we're on the same page. We're on the same page. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, this one we considered, and now we must take. Now we must take. I think we're gonna get this pawn. They haven't castled yet. Everybody, as long as you don't defeat me, treat me well, please. Treat me well. No, I think that had to be the move. Queen d4 was interesting to... Hmm. What's the way to do this? I think this this has to be the move. And then we just take it if they take with the knight, because this is pinned. If they take with the pawn, bishop f4. There has to be something. King in the center, there has to be something. 94 is very nice too. Then you take, I take, you take. I take. We are, we are back. 
Hmm. Candidate moves, knight takes e4, bishop takes f3. Bishop f3, pawn takes. Bishop f4. Queen e7. Hmm. I like that one. I get a lot of activity there. Knight e4. Bishop takes. Knight f6. Pawn takes. King g2. And you're not going to castle ever. <laughs> Now, what do we want? So now what we have to do is consider both result, um, final positions, right? After you calculate this line, this is what you get, this is what you get. Which one do you like better? Did you like chocolate? <laughs> do you like active pieces? Because I'm thinking, um, again, takes, takes, bishop f4. Let's say queen e7, d6, queen takes rook d1. So really active pieces, but not so clear what to do after. Oh, and knight d5 is coming. Or destroyed kingside. Bishop, no, no, I'm sorry, knight e4. They have to take, I take on f6, pawn takes, king g2. Hmm, queen d5. Let's do it. We're gonna take a look after, see what the right move was. Yeah, I'm only playing viewers. Hopefully, hoping they don't destroy me like Momo just did. I'll find guys I honestly don't know um, I'm just accepting as they come this is my username you sent the challenge if it doesn't let you I honestly don't know I honestly don't know what I should what I can do it doesn't matter to me um, some of you some of you I know that you just don't listen to the stream while you're, while you're playing, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just doing this for us to hopefully improve a little bit and learn. But, uh, okay. What did I do? That's not what I was going to play. I was going to play 94. <laughs> 94 bishop takes that f6. That's what I wanted. Okay, we got into this line anyways. We got into this line anyways. Let's do it then. I was like, no, no, no. Because they could take on d5. I'm just gonna destroy like 94 take on f6. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, we got that one, yep. No, only on chess.com, only on chess.com. The most important thing here is, and by the way, I could have taken the pawn for free, right? But most important thing is, don't let him castle. Okay, this is so. This is fine. I'm just gonna get out the way. Still cannot castle. Oh, this is chess.com. Chess.com. You know, never played it myself, never liked it. But to be honest, you can play anything if you like it. Just play it. Just play it. You're not gonna if you if you lose your games in the first 10, 15 moves, time to change your openings. But if it's happening later, it's the middle game. It's the middle game. You can play whatever. Actually, A3, I can see a lot of people surprised by it and not knowing what to do, confused. So you have that element. 
is it the best way to go? I don't know, but I honestly, I never played the best. I never played the main lines. I'm always looking for things like that, that are easy to implement and surprise my opponents. Like, look, I played my last round of the tournament yesterday. I'm playing this guy, he's 2276 rated over the board. And my first move is F4. We have 90 minutes each for the game, right? Plus a 30 second increment. When he saw F4, he sat there for 11 minutes and then he played his first move. And he consumed all of his time, almost all of his time because he was not familiar with the positions. I, I was. It's not that popular, people don't like it, but I already have a very good understanding of where my pieces go. And my opponent didn't, so he was never in his elements and that gave me a very good edge. All right, so I'm assuming my opponent is trying to pin me back. And that's not cool. Well, he castled already, so. Let me do this. That's it, that's, <laughs> that's exactly right. All right. I'm not gonna say I'm proud of this line. It's not what I should have gotten into. <laughs> All right. Cha cha cha. This could be painful. Or it could be great. This could be a genius move or a horrible move. We're about to find. Hey, I got one fifty-three, one minute and fifty-three. No, <laughs> never, never. I don't care. I honestly don't care. I don't care. I'm trusting people have principles. <laughs> But honestly, I just don't care. Uh, okay, so I, I saw this far. And that's why I said it could be great. Oh, I could not. Look, I'm going to stream more often now. Like I really wanna, um, for example, next Monday, the course is coming out and chess.com gave me a, an official speed run account. So I'm going to be using what I'm teaching in the chessable course um, to go to bring that account from, I think, 500 all the way up little by little using only what we've covered in, the, in that course. So next Monday and Tuesday, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be streaming almost the, the whole day. And then after that, the future is uncertain. <laughs> let's keep it. Let's keep it like that. Cha, 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 cha. I don't want to lose you. All right, I saw this far, and I think I'm okay, but it's a weird position. I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. And I will, and I will. Mm -hmm. Like, I think this game was like a Vienna, right? I mean, they didn't play five, but I tried to. Yes, it's coming out on Monday. I'm going to be making lots of announcements. Yeah, okay. Long time. Got to hurry up. We got to, got to, got to, got to, got to. Let's have fun, guys. That's why I said this was going to be a great genius idea or a horrible idea. Tactics in the air. No, I did that already. They made me do that. Like I played 30 games to get to, you know, so that the increment is not that high and then they reset it. And then of course, when their speed run is done, they're gonna return or refund the, the points to everyone. 
But yeah, yeah, I already did that part. Yeah, that check was coming. Now we just gotta not get checkmated. It's one system for black against everything and anything. Cha 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 cha. But it's, a, it's essentially uh, Pierce and King's Indian defense together in 64 train, trainable lines. That's it. That's it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's just that I don't have the increment and I just cannot slow play this. I need to go all or nothing. It's amazing how my knight is hanging, but no, no, it's not hanging. How my knight is defending everything. Or so, or so I think. Okay. And we go back. Uh, there's nothing for me here. Well done, well done, very well done. I don't know if I had anything out of... Actually, I'm gonna go back to the point where I was deciding... Let me see, let me go back. Mm. Okay, here, was my Rook F6 any sound? No, it was not. Yeah, well, actually, it's not that bad, let me see. If I go... Yeah, it's really bad, actually. Now, let me go to this point where, okay, that is five is okay. Okay, here, no, I took, no, 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 here, okay. Should, should we have played knight e4 or should we have played bishop f3? No, I, I guess I did the right move. Bishop f3 was the top move, e takes f3, bishop f4, queen b6, they castled, bishop e5. Okay, where did I miss? Okay. I shouldn't have taken the pawn. It's not that bad, actually. So queen f2 seems more accurate. Queen f2. Okay, I like this position. I guess when my rook left the back rank. Yeah, I, I guess I was fine. But I saw that I was getting low on time. I have no increment. I gotta do something drastic. But king g2 was good enough, I guess. Yeah, all right. Well played by my opponent. That was great. And well, there you go. There you go. Now it's just that I, I was twenty three hundred, so that's a huge, um, that's a huge jump. Or actually, that's a huge gap. So if you win, you get more points. Mm, 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 mm. All right, guys. I asked you to be nice. Let me go to the next one. You're not being nice. Let me see if I can take it out of my next opponent. Okay, I'm gonna play four. You ask for Vienna. So this might be it. You got it, you got it. All right, let, let me play with G3. F4, guys, very interesting. G3, not as complex, and still you get a nice position. <laughs> very, very nice. Hey, bring it on. I've been waiting for you. I didn't say anything because I know sometimes you only want to observe. I know. <laughs> well played, guys. Well played. Well played. All right. It looks like we're going to castle, keep it calm and then of course d3 i like to play h3 myself and then f4 
Mm-hmm. You know, the Vienna is an opening that I have it there just in case. One day I, I want to play it, I just play it. It's not that difficult to maintain. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. All right, let's get off this diagonal and let's see if we can play a four and so on. <laughs> it's coming, it is coming and there's nothing they could do about it. Pawn structure aiming at the king side, so we attack. No, never played it, never played it. But it's fun, it's fun to play. It's fun to play and it's fun to develop certain skills too. <laughs> All right, so we close it. And now they're gonna try to create something on this side. I don't see a lot of future, so they gotta strike the center. Don't forget, if you're being attacked on the flanks, your best chat is to strike the center. All right, I really wanna keep the center intact. But I wonder. What are you gonna do about this move? Like typically I go g4, g5, but with this knight on e7, I'll be happy to just take and open up the king. And I'm just not so sure what they're gonna do about it. Okay, we take. Well, we got a pawn out of it. I don't think they can take here because of g4. This was the, you know, by the way, this is the Vienna, but let me see. I don't think I, I don't think it's gonna work, but yeah, here we go. So I actually did a video on it, on the plans, but also there's another video on me playing every single bot. I think beginner or intermediate, something like that, using this opening. Huh. What if I play g4? What am I missing? I got two candidate moves. One of them has to work. Okay, g4, 93. They take the queen, they take the queen. That was nice. Would you guys give me, would you guys give me a break? Would you let me win again? Candidate moves, candidate moves, candidate moves. Hey, it is too low because it's not higher. What can I tell you? You gotta be a good chess player to bring it higher. Now this is, uh, I mean, not that the other one is much higher, but this is the rapid one. Like I barely play rapid games. All right, cha 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 cha. It's still coming here. We know that. We know that much. We know that much. 
I almost want to be fancy here, but last time I tried to be fancy, I got destroyed. So I might just keep it cool. I think I got to chop it off. <laughs> I'm considering rook takes knights, but I'm helping the bishop get improved. I don't see anything good for us there. I'm considering knight c3, knight e3, queen f3. You take, I take, and then what do you do? Let's give it a try. Minecraft? No, no, I don't. No, nothing, nothing. So bring it on. Bring it on. My only chat is my only chance, or my best chance, is to let them get that rook and get counterplay on the king. Yeah, they are now the fancy ones. What if I go rook b1, my friend? It's like they just don't care. Rook b1, queen a3, knight b5. You gotta take over here, and I take this. Okay, knight e3, true. But I'm winning by too much. <laughs> you got it, you got it. Thanks, thanks for being here. And look, even if you're not a beginner, um, even if you're not a beginner, guys, um, a lot of this content is, is still going to help you out. Um, I don't know how, how advanced you are, but unless you're really advanced, most of your games are going to have a lot of the stuff that we mentioned. The simple strategy, the tactics, um, the defense. But anyways, thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. And as you can see, I'm getting destroyed here by way lower rated opponents. So... It's never too late to reinforce the basics. <laughs> knight b5? What's wrong with knight b5? Alright, let's do it. What about this? What about love? <laughs> okay, candidate moves again. I could take, I could take. I mean, I could take, I could attack the queen. If I attack the queen, that queen is mine. And I don't care how you put it. It's like, if I get the bishop, oh, no, 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 I got the ultimate move. If I go here, they have 93, which shouldn't be a, a big deal. But it is a big deal. Or I could just eliminate the knight, then knight c3. <laughs> hmm. I think that's the way to go. Let me take another look. Knight c3, knight e3. I mean, at the end of the day, knight c3, knight e3, I take, they take, and I'm a piece. Cha, cha, cha. I'm just not missing anything. Let's do it. <clears throat> On chess.com, I think 25 or something, 25 ish. On over the board, 23 or something, 23 ish. <laughs> Okay, that's a good choice. B5. 
bring it on not our favorite but, but bring it on I almost do this and then queen b5, oh, I'm sorry, and then queen b5, like knight takes, pawn takes, knight a4, rook a4, queen b5 with a fork, but that easily, they could easily defend, can they? d6, remove, take, I don't need this in my life, but... Maybe five or not a four. Let's spice it up. Let's spice it up. Thing is, queen b5 is hitting so many things. My games? What games? Yep, I'm accepting any challenges. I'm on chess.com. My username, you can see it here on the on the on the on the side. Just send me a challenge. You know, I gotta start using that. Everyone is using it, and I'm not. The only scenario where I see me getting in trouble is them doubling up the rooks, but I can always defend. I just need to collect, <laughs> collect all of these pawns. Oof, I've been destroyed today already a few times. All right, my opponent knows what he's doing still they cannot leave the back rank right cha, cha, cha. I cannot help it. I cannot help it. All right, cha 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 cha. Mm -hmm. 
we had a lesson talking about how rooks could be better than than the queen, but they have to be coordinated. Now this is just, of course, silly mistake, um, but we have to, we have to. More important than protecting the pawn is to have the rook activated. All right, we got that one, guys. Finally, we got a game. Finally, we got a game. Let's do it. No, no, it's just that it's easy to miss it. Queen is tricky. The queen could be very, very tricky. All right, so someone wanted the, the check peers. Remember lesson 51, we talked about it. And then on 69, we talked about the regular peers, which ideally you go get a good foundation with the check peers and then transition into the regular one. You got it, you got it. Thanks for being here, okay? Thanks for being here. Now here, this move, we want to be careful with it. Immediately we want to think of going back, but this is not as dangerous yet. So we play e5, claim in the center, next move we go with the queen back. There you go, that's also a very nice transition. Philidor is very solid, very, very solid. No, no, hey, the, like I like always, we all have different personalities, different things we like. You just gotta find the one that you like. This is the one I like, doesn't mean it has to be for you. Just keep looking until you find something you like and try to master it. Remember that when you talk about liking or not liking the Pierce defense, more than that, more than that, you're talking about the style, about the hyper modern, this hyper modern approach. Some people don't like it. There are openings like the King's Indian defense, like the Grunfeld. There are hyper modern openings. Not everyone likes that. <laughs> Guys, very, very important. If you come here, try to come to ask any questions you, you have or hang out or whatever, but there's a very good chance we're not gonna play. There's a very good chance. It, it happens often. I wish I had the time, like next Monday and Tuesday, I'm gonna be here the entire day, probably eight plus hours streaming, but typically it's only one or two hours and there are only so many games we can play in that amount of time. By the way, those of you who are Philidor players, this is looking a lot like the Philidor. Now, let me go bishop g4, trying to finish development. b5 is in the air. Now, you know, I don't know if I have a style, but when it comes to openings, I prefer... Hmm, I prefer this hyper-modern approach instead of the classical openings. You know, the Rui Lopez is a very deep opening, um, meaning you have to know a lot of maneuvering and strategy, but that doesn't mean you cannot play it. I think actually it's a great way for you to learn more about chess. I have a student of mine who loves openings. Like he really likes to study them and he's always learning a new opening. And, but you know, he has the time to also study the other parts, like the middle game and the ending. This is just something extra he does. And I always tell him, even if you end up not playing it, you're learning chess with them. And indeed, indeed. And yeah, that's, that's the main reason why I have always played those. I just don't wanna be, number one, I've never, I don't have the time. But number two, I find it more, I like it more when I play chess and none of us know, well, yeah, we don't know, like, it's not like we're just memorizing things and playing it out until move number 30. I like it more when we get to, like, I'm going to show you a game uh, before I go offline that I played in the tournament yesterday. It was a very weird opening. 
and we just play chess. That's it. We ended up castling opposite sides, and that's it. All right, what to do, what to do. I'm gonna play b5. It depends. Uh, it's said that more tactical players prefer or should play e4. More strategic, possessional should play d4. So it has to do with you. What do you like? Look, all, I have a, I have a students breaking, getting past a thousand, getting past thirteen hundred, and I can tell you, the main thing you should be doing is um, tactics. Make sure every game you you play, you review it. Most important, and uh, and by now you want to have your openings not deep, but you want to have already openings that you like, one for white, one for black, and after after every single game, go review the game. Did you follow your opening? You forgot one line? Review it, update. And that's the main difference between the ones that improve and the ones who don't. The ones who don't improve, they play they play a game, they finish, they go to the next one, they play 10 games, and then they keep on going. The ones that I they're doing it to improve, they're playing the game, they're finishing it, and they're thinking already, I'm, I'm excited to analyze it after and review and so on. No, I've always played E4, and then lately I stopped playing it because I don't want to keep up with the theory, so I just play uh, some Knight F3, or sometimes I even play F4, anything that gets me off the offline, the, the, the main lines. Look, uh, again, if you like it, if you like the kind of play, I've never played gambits, I just don't like it. But it's also because I'm, I was always late to the party. When I started, I was late, I didn't have the time to afford to... Because with gambit comes lots of chart positions, lots of theory that you have to know. All right, there we go. Philly door style. Don't, don't know it. I have to review it. I have to see what it is. Maybe I've seen it, but I... Plow opening. All right, there we go. We got something. We got something on the queen side. Look, I would say it depends what level you play at. If you're playing at the top, top level, yes. Hey, okay. I think this is free. This is young and free. Or maybe this one is young. I wish I knew which one is the move. <laughs> okay, are we playing? Okay, we increment, good. No problem, no problem. I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna be here a lot in the next couple of weeks. So I'll see you. If you have any question, let me know. Maybe we can go over it quickly. I think it's crazy, but at the same time, at that level, you could play anything you, you want. Just especially look at that level, winners, if you win, it's because of tactics, and the King's Gambit has lots of that. So um, I think it's crazy in the sense that it's a crazy opening, it's fun. Um, but just make sure that you're, tact you're doing your tactics. You're doing your tactics. I can see a lot of uh, 1,200 players, 1,300, 1,400 just getting destroyed just because they don't know the opening. Um, G5. Yeah, why not? Well, I'll, I'll tell you this. Look, when I started working with someone um, from scratch, um, I like something that I know a lot of coaches don't do which is once they get a good foundation, 
I started teaching them about opposite side castling attacks, right? And one of the openings, and whatever opening they pick, I'm always telling them, look, let's try to castle opposite side. And then I teach them how to attack when you're on opposite sides. This is a skill you have to have regardless, because even if you don't like it, your opponent could castle opposite side and you need to know what to do, right? Um, so that's one thing we do, and that's very aggressive. Um, many times we look into the London or the Jobaba London without heavy theory, just where the pieces go, and then castle opposite side and attack and attack. So we do that a little for a little bit. After we have a good foundation with it, if you like it, you stick with it. If not, you keep on going with something else that you like better, but you already have that um, already that experience. All right, I, I could go back or I could take. I think I'm going to take. Cha cha cha. Cha. Yeah, I want to take. Officially at the age of 12, almost 13. Like I knew how to play from before. When I was five, I learned how to play, you know, table games like cards and dominoes, but I, I only knew how the pieces moved. Huh. Take. Ah, take the rook. <laughs> Look, go to lesson 70, 72, and I explain how you can prepare them. But you can find them anywhere, honestly. All right, we dropped the bishop. It's part of it. We got some pawns for it. Gotta activate, gotta activate the rook. They return the favor. Okay. Chess justice. No, no, no. It was not a mouse leap. I just didn't consider the fact he could just move to that. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, this knight is not playing. Well, I put a couple pawns. Is this a tactic? And off we go. Uh, let me not pre-move, please. All right. All right, we got that one. We got lucky on that one. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you, um, and this is mainly from what I see people doing. Like I'm talking to people all the time on tournaments, and everyone, everyone who's seriously training to improve is putting minimum two hours a day, two hours a day. Like I, I told you, I started to get better in tournaments recently because I've been for a year uh, training consistently, mainly Monday to Thursday, but I'm putting uh, anywhere between. Uh, one hour, 90 minutes, sometimes a little bit more of training. I have to, you have to, there's no way around it. Ah, thanks, thanks. Let me see how do I remove that. Uh, no, all right. Good game, that was a good game, that was a good game. That was a good game indeed. All right, guys, let me quickly, I know a lot of you don't care, but let me go here. Um, speaking of openings and so on, so I'm playing this one of my games in the tournament. My opponent plays 
d4 let me make sure you can see that yeah so i'm playing d4 um and this is if you saw it i put a picture let me see if i can bring it All right, so this is a picture someone took in one of the games, during one of the games. Let me see if I can make this smaller. So there I am, there I am with my chart, um, 1d6, right? So playing the uh, peer, letting people know that I play the peers defense. <laughs> and uh, it's interesting because I'm playing my opponent when I get to the round, she's outside, like 10, 15 minutes before the round, she's outside. When I get to the round, I start the timer, and it took her like another 10, 15 minutes to get in, right? So only one thing you can conclude, which is she went to prepare with her coach. Her coach was there too, right? So after d4, d6, I know she's prepared, and she told me after the game, she was prepared for me to play the King's Indian. So when she plays knight f3, guess what? I just went with f5. Already she's off her preparation. That's it. Now we just play chess. Um, of course, this is not some weird uh, opening I created. This is just like the dodge defense. It's the same thing as if you play d4, f5, right? And then, and then f3. Eventually, you're going to play d6. So it's just different move order. So in the game, she goes, I'm sorry, she goes knight c3, knight f6, bishop g5, knight b to d7, e3, e6, and everything starts to take shape. Then um no 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 not e6 h6 <laughs> g5 i'm getting a, i'm expanding already on the king side bishop g7 bishop d3 and then e6 so everything is taking shape i already have my bishop in the finchero a lot of space on the king side and then here she goes pawn to d5 so this is already we're playing chess which is awful preparation i'm comfortable but this is not something i've played before this position so i have to be careful i go nice e5 if things get ugly with the bishop, I chop it off. G took, I took, knight d4, queen d7. And then this is where she lost the game. We analyzed the game after. This is where she lost the game. Of course, knight b5, one move threat. She's hoping that if she takes on e6, I cannot take with the queen, fork. And if I take with the knight, she takes on e6. And the thing is, I cannot even get the knight after because this one is hanging. So... Luckily for me, a6 um, hits the knight and they just have nothing. So this was what she lost the game, just wasted a move. Um, she took, I take, knight goes back, knight to c5, defending, hitting the, the bishop. And then here she goes, knight e2, and I finally castle the queen side. That's it. From this moment on, it was all about playing chess. And in the picture you see, somewhere around this, you, you see this position. So this is what I was telling you before. The opening, is it popular? Of course not. But I just made it to the middle game and now we just play chess, be energetic and so on. All right, let me see. Yeah, every, everyone was instructed to have it in, your, in a bag or not, just simply not there. But some people just turn it off in front of you and they put it there, so. I mean, I, I, honestly, I honestly don't care, but I get what you're saying. I get, what, I get what you're saying. All right. All right, guys, let me go back to accept some challenges. Here we go. Let me accept some friend requests. <laughs> All right, let's do it. do it and we castled that's it Bum, bum. 
that's perfectly fine. Just focus on your tactics, nothing more. I like D5. <laughs> Candidate moves, takes, takes, or else. <laughs> All right, let me take. Welcome, welcome. Guys, don't make me. I've never blocked anyone from stream, but don't make me block. Uh, I've already said I, I really want to play everyone, but we can't. So if it doesn't happen, that's okay. Well, lesson 74, my friend, we talked about it. When one is better than the other, I'm really, I don't have a preference, honestly. Um, it depends on the position. Sometimes the bishop is better, sometimes the knight is better. However, it's when it's bleeds, knights are good to have. Very tricky pieces. Very tricky pieces. All right, can we get to that king in the center? Not so sure, not so sure. All right. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that was that was the problem with my move. That was the problem with my move. <laughs> very well, very, very well. That's a monster. I'm thinking, <laughs> oh, that was a free pawn there. I was thinking that if things get ugly, I could always chop it off, but then this is going to be another monster. It looks like I have no choice. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Let me get out of the way. You can always take this guy, but... There has to be something. There has to be something. Every pawn available, <laughs> I took. 
I, I don't even know how I didn't take this one on A4. Oh, that's a free queen. That's a free queen. Mayday, mayday. Now, of course, E5 is hanging too because of the, the pin. If you let me choose, all right, if you let me choose, I was gonna <laughs> take the bishop. No, no, this has to be winning. All right, we got that one, we got that one. We almost didn't get it, but. All right, guys, I have your victory for me. Chess mood from Germany, I think. Let's do it. play d5 why not okay i guess this is more like a collie approach to it <laughs> you gotta increase your wins <laughs> now hey uh, consistent training there's no way around it losses are always gonna be there consistent training my friend Guys, again, on Monday and Tuesday, we're going to be here almost like plus eight hours streaming. So we're going to have more time. That's all I'm doing until they start beating me too much and I just run away. All right, here we have it. D4, D takes, or Knight takes. Let's go with D4. It's more fun, at least. None, and at the same time, any. <laughs> So we already talked about this, but I'll say it again. Um, at, at the beginner level, you shouldn't worry too much about openings, but at the same time, since people are not that experienced yet, you can get away with anything. Just pick something you enjoy, have fun by playing, doing tactics, losing, reviewing the games. Uh, but at the same time, if you want to play it really well, it's going to require lots of memorization, and you shouldn't be investing that, that amount of time. Okay, now it takes... Or pawn takes. I did it initially to take with the pawn, but uh, what's the difference, huh? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, thank you. It means a lot. It does mean a lot. <laughs> go there you go just keep it consistently keep it consistently and do lots of tactics as you go through it the tactics play games and keep going consistently 
Oh, true, true. No increment? Oh, come on. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. And I'm playing a 2200. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay, how do we solve this problem? square <laughs> of course yeah well played well played I didn't realize they didn't have the increment all right that's another game change of pace <laughs> All right, let me go to the next one. Good game, good game. Same thing, <laughs> same thing, but this time we got the white pieces. I think this was like a King Indian attack. Uh, it's more like the Pierce defense with white or the King Indian defense. But I played this by mistake. So it's a little bit different now. Not at the moment, not at the moment. I'm still doing my nonsense <laughs> thumbnails and editing. <laughs> This is pretty, uh, I don't like it. Gotta be careful not to drop any of the pawns, but it is what it is. Try not to leave any weaknesses. I don't want to advance any pawns. Like if I pushed this one, then knight d4 is coming. Angel, Angel, what's up? This could get really interesting. All of a sudden, it could get very interesting. Mm -hmm. 
You're not gonna believe me, but I haven't read one. Actually, I haven't read many chess books. And you can see it, you can see that in my games. <laughs> I wanted to take with the pawn, but then what do I do about this? So I gotta take with the bishop. Yeah, yeah, I have, and I actually do it often with my students. Like, I wouldn't like to do it much, but uh, from time to time, as part of our training, we do it. Let's go. It's fun. We don't do it often because I read somewhere that it could be counterproductive. Like it takes so much energy that probably you're not, you could get more from doing all kind of training than, than that. But we still have to do it. That's a fact. All right, let's not worry about these two pieces for now. <clears throat> Let's try to complicate this. It is, it is demanding, it is demanding, but you know, I. I also think that if you just play chess, you train chess, and you make it, by the time you make it to 2000, you already can play chess blindfolded. Maybe not perfectly, but you already have the skills to, to do it. bishop you, you take that bishop you win all right in between what's up what's up oh good just trying to keep up with you guys okay you secured very nice pawn not say you didn't. Any, any time control, any time control. shouldn't be losing this yeah no, no they left this diagonal and they couldn't they just couldn't all right we got that one guys we got that one let's do this flamboyant chess no flamboyant 14 let's do it let's play d4 someone said queen's gambit let's play c4 All I'm thinking here is like, I'm not, com I mean, I don't know a lot about this gambit. So let me play something that he's not, <laughs> that is not the main line. So I'm thinking already of d5, d5 should cut it. Yeah. I'm not even sure. I don't think my f5 was good. I just think 
um, when I took on F5 and you took, I think you should have done more down the F file, probably. And there you go. My opponent is thinking that means he was expecting something else. Now E3. I just want to. I just don't want to give him anything they are familiar with. Um, oh, did I? Okay, no, no, I'm good. Improving our pieces little by little, unknown territory, but as long as we do that, we'll be fine. <laughs> what's up, what's up? We can see why. We can see why your ex did what you did. <laughs> hey, we're almost done, but typically you just send a challenge. You can see my username there, and uh, and we make it happen. It's just that, unfortunately, we don't have time to play every single game I wish I could, but that's how it goes. Bishop b2, you mean against the Kali or just b3, bishop b2? Mm -hmm. My opponent is fully developed. I'm not, so I just need to prioritize that. Well, I'll tell you this, um, and I'm not proud of it, but whenever I see something like that, like I know for years, a conflict has been going on in that area, right? Um, so since I don't know enough, I just don't even op give my opinion because I just know enough. I know there has been a conflict, but I don't know why or where it comes from. And the more I read about it, the less I understand. And um, bottom line, I just know there's nothing I can do to help. So I just don't even give my opinion on it. But what I can tell you is that there are situations like that all over the world. Just all over where I come from is a disaster. Nobody cares. So I just try to, I don't even watch the news. I'm not kidding. I, my my TV is only there to play music. Like sometimes we, we put music on, on YouTube and it's in the background or watch movies, things like that. But I don't watch the news. If there's something that I need to know, my mom or my wife's parents, they will let us know when we talk. Hey, this is coming or this is happening. But if it doesn't affect me that closely or if I cannot help in any way, I just stay out of it. Just stay out of it. So I don't think I answered your question, but... Guys, always I always send you to lesson 102, I want to say 102 or 101, where we talk about a training plan. That's it. That's all I've been doing. That's all you have to do. Okay, maybe we just take. Maybe we don't. Let's take. Mm 
All right, and we finally castled. Now we can play, we can play chess. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Oop, tactic. <laughs> okay, that's another thing. I don't <laughs> I don't like to watch sports, not even chess. I don't follow tournaments. I like to play it. Like uh, I've never played cricket. I think I would like to play it. Like I've played everything from from baseball to soccer to um to combat sports, but I don't like to to watch it. I like to play it, but I don't like to watch it. The only one that I'm able to I don't do it often, but that I'm, uh, if I have to pick, is basketball because it's very fast. It's like back and forth, score, score, score. But soccer, oh man, 90 minutes to score one goal, if anything, maybe none. Yeah, but you know, that's just me. Ooh, favorite, you know, uh, when I started being from Cuba, Capablanca was always, I was, had a lot of exposure to Capablanca and it's difficult not to like him. Um, then I started to study Kramnik and I'm like, this guy is, is the guy. But, you know, if, if you play chess today and you don't like, or you don't admire Carlsen, I don't know what to tell you. So I'm in between those three, Capablanca, Kramnik, uh, Carlsen. But with that said, there's so many great ones. It's difficult to pick. No, 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 I don't even have, I'm not, <laughs> look, when I was in Cuba, the main sport in Cuba is baseball. Cha-cha-cha. Let me go here. And so everyone had their teams, but you, you'd be with a team from your state or your province. And I will start with my province, right? And then if my team would lose to another team, then I would switch to that team. That, w that was my team. I will be rooting for it. And I will always win because I will be <laughs> switching, switching until the end. But truth is, I just... Couldn't care. I just uh, couldn't care. I, I, I guess I don't have that gene. All right. E4. They might just take and then take. Oh, I don't need to overprotect it. It's defended already. I just need this bishop gone. Let me go back. Yes, they, they actually have a very, very good culture and school of boxing in Cuba. Yeah, but first time I went for the tryouts in, in Cuba for boxing, like, you know, everything is free, right? So you just go there, you start practicing, and if they see you have some talents, they, you stick around. We went there, and then they, they had us, you know, do some, some sparings uh, just to see if we wanted to stay or not. And the guy in front of me went in, and he got his nose bleeding he got a punch nose bleeding and i said nah this is not for me so i didn't even try i just kept going all right i gotta take maybe i don't let me go rook c1 Yeah, it's tough to choose. You're right. You're right. Okay, how do we want to deal with this? I think I'm going to just simplify the game. Ah, there you go. Thanks. And go to sleep, man. Go to sleep. Come on. Let's go to sleep. Well, I'm originally from Cuba. Cuba, Cuba, Cuba. Ba, 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 ba. Man, how can I get more organized here? Hanging, hanging, gotta be careful with that. Those hanging pieces. Hello, hello. Oh, we're wrapping up already. Been here for two hours. <laughs> 
Gotta do it. <laughs> Guys, I'm done already. We're done. And again, my apologies. But like I always tell you, it's impossible we can we can play all the games. Next week, Monday and Tuesday, I'm gonna be here for eight plus hours. We're gonna, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna play almost everyone, but I have a lesson to teach in the moment, so I have to run, I have to run. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Probably, but I was already said to play before, and so I played it. Uh, can I take? Actually, is so tricky i can see tactics <laughs> i can see tactics happening yep the budapest gambit ah it came that way fine you cannot have it all i guess you cannot have it all okay so we return the exchange we didn't return it, they made us return it. They made us return it. Well, best thing you could do when you're tilting is go to sleep. Just leave it there, go, come back later tomorrow. That's it. Just take a break. That's it. That's the best thing you could do. Vasil in the house. How are you, mister? All right. Three minor pieces, four pawns. Interesting end game. Let's see. I didn't even calculate these, but <laughs> yeah, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I see your, your Spanish is improving, man. No, but still, chessable course is finally done. Um, it's coming out on Monday. So Monday and Tuesday, I'm going to be streaming the whole day. But uh, this week, still a few things to do. I wonder if I should just do this. Nah, probably not. What? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Okay, we take this. Check first. Right. All right, fair square. It is what it is. Look, 
I was going to say this. I'm talking to people, not not what I'm doing, but I'm doing, I, th- I would say at least an hour should be tactics. But I'm talking to people who are doing, especially kids who have the time, they're dedicated to these. They're doing minimum two hours a day of tactics, just tactics. Then they do end game, they do strategy and things like that. But the baseline is two hours of tactics. They go from there. It depends how much time you have. I'm trying to do at least one hour of tactics. Not one hour, just maybe three, five minutes, and then the rest I do something else. What pawn, what pawn to take? I like this one. Maybe none. I'm still forking this too. I don't want him to take any. Okay, now we take. Ah. Okay, this was the move, I think, and he could have gotten me. Got lucky on that one. I think this will have been the move. Now my king is just in time. get fancy you could do this <laughs> no need but all right guys we got that one uh, we got Loki on it I'm going to leave it here. I'm already exhausted. It's been two hours. Like next week, I want to do eight plus hours of streaming. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but little by little. Again, like always, I know a lot of you have been here waiting. I've had people just joining multiple streams and we don't get to play, but at some point we make it happen. So thanks for being here. Like always, if you have any final questions, let me know. Hey, hey, I've seen you move up the lessons. I see you leaving me comments. So thanks. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Great game. That was a great game. That was a great game. Good games. Absolutely. No, no. We're blind. We're just blind. Basil, see you. Um, see you, guys. I'll see you soon. And uh, be safe, okay? Have a good week.